Hi, my name is Logan Helms, and today I'm going to be talking about firebombing, which was a new military tactic utilized in World War II. Key Concept 6.1 Roman numeral 3C states that improved military technology, such as tanks, airplanes, or the atomic bomb, and new tactics such as trench warfare or firebombing, led to increased levels of wartime casualties, such as in Beijing, Dresden, or Hiroshima. I chose to focus on the new military tactic of firebombing, which revolutionized aircraft rating and brought on more casualties in World War II than any other weapon. Firebombing was a weapon developed for doing terrible things as a regular mode of operation, meaning that unlike atomic bombs, which were only used twice, they were used in daily battles. The firebomb was created by a mixture of American industries, universities, and the government. Some institutions involved were Brown University, Harvard University, Stanford University, Monsanto, and Standard Oil Development, which were all under the advisement of the Vannevar Bush's Office of Scientific Research and Development, the Chemical Warfare Service, and other parts of the military. With that said, no individual created the firebomb. Rather, it was the product of cooperation among several organizations. There are many varying types of incendiary bombs, but the one to focus on is the M69 bomb, which, like most firebombs, was created specifically to target civilian houses in urban areas. The most common cluster would hold 38 individual M69s and would release them 5,000 feet above the target. Firebombs are composed of a gelatin-based fuel source, such as gasoline or kerosene, surrounding the explosive material. When these bombs exploded, the resulting fire completely destroyed everything around it. Each B-29 aircraft carrier would hold 40 clusters in the bomb bays, which is 1,520 M69s per plane. And keep in mind that a raid could range from dozens to hundreds of planes on cities. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the raids on the German city of Dresden and the Japanese city of Tokyo. On February 13th of 1945, a series of Allied firebombing raids began against the German city of Dresden, reducing the city to rubble and flames and killing roughly 135,000 people. Dresden was not a site of war production or major industry, but it was chosen to be bombed because it acted as a major communication center. Bombing it would hamper the German ability to convey messages to its army. More than 3,400 tons of explosives were dropped onto the city by American and British forces. The two days of bombing resulted in a firestorm, which set the city burning for many days, littering the streets with corpses. Roughly a month after the bombing of Dresden, the U.S. warplanes launched new bombing offensives against Japan, dropping 2,000 tons of incendiary bombs on Tokyo over the course of 48 hours. Almost 16 square miles in and around the Japanese capital were incinerated, and between 80,000 and 130,000 Japanese civilians were killed in the worst single firestorm in recorded history. This raid was used to force Japan to an early surrender in the dying months of World War II. Although the atomic bombs of Hiroshima and Nagasaki have dominated World War II's history, the single bombing attack on Tokyo was more destructive. Charles Day said that the firebomb had the highest fire starting efficiency per cluster or per ton or per bomber of any bomb developed during the war. This quote kind of ties into the fact that a lot of history is focused on the atomic bombs when you're talking about bombing technology, but firebombing had a significant impact and caused a lot of casualties. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope that you have a great day.